Delphi, sacred isle of Apollo. The light of truth pierces the mist that clouds the minds of men. Greetings! A talking satyr? Satyr, I am Jason, king of Yolkos. This is Hercules, the son of Zeus. Is that right? We've come to see the Oracle. Well, that way leads to the Oracle. Eventually. We thank you. I wish you good fortune in the caves ahead. What? Is there some reason we would need it? Hold on, I'll take a look. Hercules, wait! What exactly do you need? Hail, King Jason! Lieutenant Platon? What are you doing on Delphi? That's a question I put to you, sir. I speak for the people, your people, who wonder why you've left us. Why you've abandoned your kingdom and your duty. What if there's another attack, and Yolkus is without its warden? How could you do this? Duty calls me away, Plato. I must ensure justice in our land. And a great injustice has occurred. I travel to restore our queen and to undo the wrong that has been done us. I will show the world that no attack on Yolkis can succeed. The gods willing, I will not be long away. Plato, what is this place? Jason, begat of Trion, who fifty years walked with the gods. Jason, there you are. Lost you back there for a moment. Why did you run off? This place is strange. I'm seeing things. Yes. I saw a guard from Yolkis. I saw worse than that. Death. Destruction. I've seen that this voyage will be the last for some of those who join you. I'm with you until the end, Jason. But others who may stand with us, I worry too much will be asked of them. Are you willing to trade a life for Alcimaeus? A friend's life? I don't want reluctant friends by my side. I want men and women who believe in what we're doing. If they feel as I do, the sacrifices we're called to make will not be an issue. Hercules? Hercules! I see you, Jason. King Lucas. Alcime. Jason. I'm so cold. I will find a way to bring you back. I'm alone in the dark. Lost and adrift. Why have you denied me my final rights? Why have you left me to wander in the abyss? I am so afraid. You are not alone. Wherever I go, I feel you with me. Trust in me, love. We will be together again. I cannot trust you. You ask too much. What? You are not Alcime. Just another trick of the cave. There is nothing Alcime and I cannot ask of each other. Be gone, treacherous spirit. You may have stolen her image, but your words betray you. Cave of Doubts. The most difficult questions to answer are those left unasked. 
You cannot confront ignorance unless you first confront the truth. You made it! Hercules, is it really you? After I ran in, I started seeing things. That's about when I realized rushing ahead wasn't the brightest idea. I turned back to find you, but there was only the cave and its tricks. Tricks won't stop us now. Come. You've overcome the Cave of Doubts. Well done. You again. Many who come here seeking answers don't have the resolve to ask the questions. Who are you, Seder? You may call me Pan. I am a friend of the Oracle. She is waiting for you ahead, just a little further. I didn't know Satyrs could speak our language. It isn't easy, I assure you. We have different instruments, you see. Pipes and lyres. Both can make music, but each in their own way. I've had lots of time to practice. I do my best. You speak better than most people I've met. You are very kind to say so. But now, you should continue. The Oracle is expecting you. Yes. Older than you think. How old are you? That's a bit unsettling. A foolish question. I'm the Oracle. How did you know what we were going to? Foolish question, right? Oracle of Apollo. I am... Jason. In fact, you are many Jasons. Each instant countless Jasons die. And countless are born anew. Does this Jason know what he seeks? My wife, Alcime, restored to me alive again. Restored to you? You think your thread entwined with hers forever? Threads unravel. Threads entangle. Threads are cut. You have not said what I seek is impossible. And by that, I infer there is a way. How? The Golden Fleece. The Fleece? An artifact of untold power. Only the Fleece can undo death. But the fleece has been lost for centuries. Do you know where it is? How can I find it? Search under every stone upon the earth. You will not find it. Then how? You will need a guide. Three guides. Each a vessel of divine blood. You mean to say these guides are the descendants of the gods? The blood of three holds the key. Athena, Hermes, Ares. Seek out their bloodlines. Bring one descendant from each of these gods here to Delphi. Then the way to the fleece will be made known to you. But will that be an answer? Or just another question? Wait! Who are these descendants? 
Where do I find them? Come now. Aren't you being a little hard on them? Even if they knew where to look, the task ahead is nigh impossible. She's coming around to it. Give her a moment. How can you tell? Three islands you must visit. Mycenae, proud land of Ares, where a city hungers to see vengeance in its fierce arena. Saria, wild domain of Hermes, where both predators and mysteries lurk deep within the jungle. Kithra, lost island of Athena, where the echoes of a distant past haunt both swamp and temple. Mycenae, Saria, Kithra. There your destiny will be forged. Can you tell me more of these places? Revealing too much may alter the course of events. So may revealing too little. Choose one of your destinations, and we will grant you one last gift of insight. Tell me more of Mycenae. The man with the hammer will help you. You may trust him. But do not trust the man who watches. In the last moment, an ally will appear. I suppose this means you will be leaving us, Pan. I believe Jason's quest will be an epic tale filled with great deeds and worthy heroes. Perhaps I too may have a part to play. You're coming with us? If you'll have me. Pan will speak for us on your journey. He will prove useful to you. I do not doubt that. Welcome aboard the Argo, Pan. The Argo? Jason and the Argonauts. There's a fine title for a tale. It's time we leave. To the ship! of Apollo, a beacon of vigilance to light the way. Be you a mirror to reflect that light, and you will be blessed in the eyes of the Sun Lord. Mycenae. It is a land of Ares, and the homeland of my wife. King Lycomedes is the one I seek there. He is of Ares' blood. Lycomedes is not the understanding type. What of Saria and Kithra? Do you know them, Pam? I hear it's a cursed island. Well, it wasn't always so. 
In fact, it was once home to the Golden Fleece. But now, it said no living thing calls Kithra home. We'll find out for ourselves the truth of all these places. Come, the Argo awaits. At last, we have our purpose. The route to Mycenae is well known to me. It is a major port, after all. Saria is just a small dot on the map, isolated and out of the way. Kithra appears only on the oldest charts. No one sails there anymore. They say it's haunted. Have you decided on our destination, Jason? Chart a course for Mycenae. We'll speak with the bloodline of Ares first. King Lycomedes. As you say. Our plan is We neutralize our time, and Jason's quest will be at an end. Go. Make sure our arrangements are in order. And kill the traitor once he's served. <laughs> Keep her safe here while you're ashore. At some point, though, I need to get ashore myself to restock provisions. to practice. I've never seen pipes like those. Ah, yes. My syrinx. I named them after a beautiful nymph I once knew. Where is she now? Here. In the music that I play. You see, I loved her very dearly. But that love was not to return. One day I went to speak with her to tell her that I would no longer visit if she found my company unpleasant. And what did she say? Alas, I'll never know. Fearing I had come to woo her yet again, she ran from me. In her haste, she fell into a river and was drowned. The river nymphs took pity on her and transformed her into river reeds. I use them to make these pipes. A sad tale, Pam. Love is a powerful thing, my friend. But it does not always lead to happy endings. I worry how King Lycomedes will welcome you. Have you thought of what you'll say to him?
and I won't prepare any speeches. I'll judge his temper and speak from the heart. I was there. I know you're not at fault. But truth travels like a fasting pilgrim. It loses much of itself along the way. I'm afraid you will find few friends here, Jason. Let's hope that Lycomedes, if not a friend, is at least not an enemy. The people here seem eager to meet us. That might not be a good thing. Have you heard of the Akhmisi, Jason? Some sort of fire spirit? Yes, a type of salamander, in fact. They appear as tongues of flame amidst the masts and rigging of ships. They were with us last night. An auspicious sign, I've heard. I would say doubly so, given this island is aligned with Ares, whose symbol is a fiery torch. I take it to mean that we were right to come here, that we'll find favor with Ares on Mycenae. Let's hope you haven't misread the signs. The people here will not be pleased to see me. Should they decide to burn this ship to ash and timber, it would give new interpretation to your fire sprites. Then I pray my skills of divination are not wrong. For all our sins. 